team, I paused it. They're just. Oh, here for a. Hi. How are you holding up? Because I'm hey. a potato. Okay. Oh, good. My slow clap processor made it into this thing. So we have that. Since it doesn't look like we're going anywhere, well, we are going somewhere alarmingly fast, actually. But since we're not busy other than that, here's a couple of facts. He is not okay. just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. Good, that's still working. Hey, just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot. This is pretty cool. Alright. Now we're out. Right. Now we're out. Right. I do not know. You take it, Glado. Back with him. Alright. We'll get down here. Glado. This place is a very place. the light. <laughs> That's the affordable surface pack immediately.
30 years. Attempts to authorize keep out. Keep out, keep out, keep out, keep out. No, I will not authorize it. I will go straightly. But, for real. Eh <laughs> nothing you can do about it. That was fun. Well. I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. 
The good news is, we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of Mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. E. Go. I love the elevator. So I don't believe that one because Push it button. Switch the switch. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. That's patient rail. Hold it. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Ooh, that's fun. Did you know? Aperture science. Act. Police card in blue. Pulsion gel. Pulsion gel was Aperture's first attempt to create dietic pup pudding substitute. It's true. The gel is a sweeter, slightly less non toxic form of a glass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of, the, of a dieter's distended stomach and out his or her mouth for various reasons. This product was pulled from shelves. 
Wonder why. Even double it. Or increase your light. Extra. Cube. Has just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Yeah. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. in that repulsion gel here's some advice the lab boys gave me do not get covered in the repulsion gel we haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet but i'll tell you this it's a lively one and it does not like the human skeleton thank you johnson it's it Oh. 
All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and makes a happy face. Mm. A few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and it makes a happy face. A few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and it makes a happy face. style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. They're just faintly, boldly guessing, boldly don't know whatever. Yeah. They used to. The
carrying something. Let's go. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. <laughs> now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. I did. I did. But I did. I did risk it. Mm -hmm. I did. Okay, I did. Telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time, entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business.
I just went too so long. Anyway.
smother it everywhere every possible location in order to ensure maximum blue ge bluey gelness Stop! Out the front door! Parking lot! Car! Goodbye! 
Yeah. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Here, guys. Bye.